As you construct decision trees with precision tree, you will start to realize how frequently the same subtree structure and even some of the same subtree data appears multiple times in the same tree. Fortunately, Precision Tree provides tools for copying and pasting subtrees that improve your efficiency tremendously. They also help you avoid errors. When you copy a subtree and then paste it, the structure of the subtree is copied literally. Also, any formulas you entered on the branches of the subtree are copied in the usual Excel way. Therefore, just as with any other Excel formulas, you have to be careful about relative and absolute addresses. To illustrate the copying and pasting tools, I will build a tree for an American put option that has a duration of two days. Each day, the price either increases by 2% with probability 0.52, or it decreases by 2% with probability 0.48. The person holding the option can then decide whether to exercise the option if he has not already done so. This makes sense if the price decreases because the person makes money on a put option when the price is low. But even then, it might make sense to wait and exercise later, hoping the price will go even lower. Some calculations have been performed at the top of the worksheet to show the person's gain or loss if he exercises the option after certain price changes. For example, if the price decreases on both days and he exercises the option at the end of day two, he will make $126.93. These values will eventually be used in the tree. I have started the tree with typical branches. Each day there is a chance node for the price change, followed by a decision node on whether to exercise at the end of the day. Note that the probabilities have absolute references to the inputs. Note the dollar signs. These absolute references make them copyable. There is also a reference to the payoff, in this case actually a loss, from exercising. It points to cell H3. This won't be copyable no matter how it is entered, so either a relative or an absolute reference could be used. Now I will start copying and pasting subtrees. First, a decision about exercising must be made whether the price goes up or down on day one. Therefore, the same decision node and its branches should be copied to the lower end node. The only difference is that a different payoff from exercising should be used. To do this, you right-click the Decision node and select Copy Subtree. Then you right-click the end node you want to paste to and select Paste Subtree. Yes. There's the copy. Finally, in the bottom Exercise branch, you point the formula to the correct cell, in this case cell H4. You can make the reference relative or absolute, it doesn't really matter. Next, you will see the real efficiency of copying and pasting. If the person hasn't exercised by the end of day one, the entire tree you see here repeats itself. So you can copy the subtree starting at the chance node and then paste it twice to the two no end nodes, that is, here and here. Note that after you paste the subtree once, the copy is still in memory, so you don't need to copy again. You can just paste. I will do it. Copy, subtree, paste, subtree. Paste again. Then you can fix the formulas for exercising appropriately they should now point to cells H7 to H10. Believe it or not, 
the tree is now complete. That's all the work it took. You can study the example on pricing puts in the precision tree example files to understand the financial aspects better. But regardless of the context, you should now appreciate the power of copying and pasting subtrees. It just takes some advanced planning to make the original subtree as copyable as possible.